Okay, so we're going to look at some of the wrong explanations that Christians give about the Trinity, the ones that were always given to me as a Jehovah's Witness, the ones that our church gave and that um, didn't make a lot of sense to Muslims. I mean, you could understand the illustrations, but it didn't, it didn't explain how this works. So one of them, the one I heard a lot as a Jehovah's Witness, is the Trinity is like an egg. How many of you heard that before? Well, every hand just about. Okay. Well, that's still, it was around when I was a little boy. I guess it's still around. Okay. So, yeah, the explanation is, well, it's like an egg. You have the yolk, you have the white, and you have the shell. See, it's three, but there's just one egg, you know. Well, yeah, but um, well, we'll see why this isn't orthodox in, in, in a minute. Apple. Have any of you heard that illustration? Not as common. Okay, so uh, that was another one I, I heard a lot. It's the Trinity is like an apple. You have the uh, the stem, you have the skin, and then you have the the meat in, inside, the fruit white, the white of it uh, inside. Don't take these notes down. This is the wrong way. Okay, so <laughs> I don't want you to go home and say, yeah, the Trinity is like an egg, or it's like <laughs> another wrong one. Okay. Um, Actually, St. Patrick did not use the shamrock as an illustration of the Trinity. That's a myth, but that's one you hear a lot, okay? You see, it's, you know, this is the Trinity. It's, you've got, you know, like a three-leaf clover or shamrock. Okay, so those are all explanations that are dead wrong. Most Christians don't realize that. They're not trying to explain it incorrectly, but most Western Christians do not understand the Trinity. And the problem with most Western explanations of the Trinity is that in no sense is the Son begotten. In fact, in no sense is He really a Son. He's just, those are names, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But they're, they're essentially three brothers. Um, you know, you give different names to them, but it's not like Jesus came from the Father. It, most Western Christians, you know, like I say, after I left Jehovah's Witnesses, I spent years asking people, explain how he is a son. Can't explain it, but he's the son. Yeah, but it means he had to come from the Father. Yeah, can't explain it. It's a mystery, you, you know. But it is interesting, you know, the, the early Christians, they, they nearly all um, used that same illustration of, of the sun in the sky. And it's interesting... Um, and the Orthodox churches, they use that today. And I visited a Coptic church, uh, I don't know, probably 30 years ago. And uh, I uh, asked the bishop after church, you know, I went up to talk to the bishop to, under, you know, ask them some questions, what they believe and all that. So I told him, you know, about the illustration of the sun. And he said, yeah, that's exactly what we teach. You know, it's still, like I say, it's still what Eastern Christians are teaching. So maybe, yeah, maybe God had that in mind rather than the shamrock to explain to us the, uh, the Trinity and, and how that works. See, this is, if you Google Trinity or, you know, a picture of the Trinity, Google images or something like that, you'll see this all over. I mean, th this, this exact picture or something like it. A triangle, see, this is a Trinity. Well, no, I'm sorry, that is not an orthodox explanation of the Trinity. What's, where's the source? In, in what sense is one of those corners, the sun, uh, begotten? Uh, where does any of that exist? This is just a triangle. The other thing is, as I mentioned, if you took away the, the son and the Holy Spirit, the father would still exist. He doesn't depend on them. In a triangle, if you took away the son and the Holy Spirit, yeah, the whole triangle would collapse. It would, there would be no more God. But see, God, the father is always there, whether Jesus and the son uh, Jesus and the Holy Spirit were not. Again, we're talking theoretical because Jesus and the Holy Spirit, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, yeah, will always, always be here. So we're just talking in theory to help us understand the concepts, you, you know, 